Welcome to the Path to Mindset Mastery. My name is Brad Bizjack. I'm a mindset strategist and coach, inspirational speaker, and creator of Appreciation Academy. And I help online business owners silence all the negative self-talk holding you back from your dreams so you finally see the success that you deserve. And today is really, really simple. I'm going to give you a metaphor that changed my life. Do you ever face situations in your life where you think that your situation is so much different than everyone else and for some reason it just seems so hard for you or like your situation seems so special and no one else understands and then when you get into that state you just stay stuck until time passes by right and something out of nowhere changes how you feel something external snaps you out of it and every time go forward you wait for something to re-motivate you to get you back on track but that's a slippery slope that leads to blame and it takes away taking responsibility for your life Uh, for your life and more importantly for your emotions because in life you're going to experience tough times and some of the greatest life lessons I've ever learned have been through those tough times and it came from one of the most influential humans of all time someone that uh, I've learned most of my my personal growth from and that is Jim Rohn this podcast is to honor him and one of his lessons that he taught me that changed my whole life so this is not something that I came up with this is something that I learned from him but I wanted to pass it on to you because it's made such a profound impact in my life so one of the best things he ever taught me was a metaphor that changed my perspective I hear so many people use the word seasons in their sentences, right? But they have no idea what they're saying when they say that. They just say that they're going through a a season when their kids are acting up. And they're going through a season when they're sad regularly. But what we need to see is that these seasons like are actually something that occur in our life and we need to see what they actually are if we're going to use the word seasons as a good metaphor. So life is like changing seasons. We just need to define it better. And in this life, we have all the seeds we need. All the thoughts in our mind are seeds. In Appreciation Academy, I'll teach you a systematic way to guarantee those quote unquote thought seeds change. And by the way, you get a 50% off discount for listening to this podcast by entering the promo code podcast, all caps at appreciationacademy.com. But again, life is like the changing seasons and in it, we have these seeds that we need. We have all these thoughts in our mind, those are our seeds, but, and we also have the soil that we need. We have the sunshine that we need. We have the rain that we need. We have all the resources we need to cultivate a lasting harvest. It's just up to us to make something of this life and use the hand that you're dealt or use the resources that you're given. You don't need something else. You have to use the cards that you already have. It's up to you to use what God gave you to create something amazing because it's not about what happens to you that determines your life's future. It's what you do about what happens. Jim Rohn gives this example of how all of us are in this little sailboat in the ocean that we call life. And when we're out there in the ocean, the same wind blows on us all. It's the wind of disaster, the wind of opportunity, the wind of change, the wind of lessons, the wind of hardship. We have the same winds that blow on all of us. Everybody has shit they deal with is really what that means. But one of the most disempowering things that you could ever believe is that your quote unquote wind is different than someone else, that your situation is harder than someone else. It's not true. Everyone has wind, but it's not the blowing of the wind that determines your life's future. It's the set of the sail. It's how you set your sail when that wind is hitting you that will determine where you end up in life. Your purpose, what you're contributing to, that's an internal guide that always stays true no matter what is happening on the outside. So imagine that you're in that same sailboat. You have that compass, right? That compass within you. That's the the purpose in here. That's, That's the life that you're meant to lead. It's the direction you know is right in your soul. And when the storm of life comes, which by the way, it will multiple times, and there are waves 50 feet high in every single direction, and you can't navigate by the stars because there's clouds covering everything, When that happens, you're still on course because you can use your compass. You're further along, you're stronger, and you now know how to navigate those storms. You set your sails towards where you want to go instead of trying to avoid the storm. And then all those who set out without listening to their their compass or their heart, their soul, their spirit, what they know they're meant to do and who they are, they feel lost at sea. They might sink, they might end up on the rock somewhere, they might crash and burn, who knows? My point is that you, if you understand and listen to Jim's metaphor here, the same wind blows on us all and that storms are coming for everyone. It's up to you to determine how to set that sail to make something out of this life. The changing seasons 
are a lot like life, right? In life, we go through winter. We go through spring, summer, and fall, don't we? That's true in life. Well, our life, our business, our relationships, all of it are just like that. So think about the winter. Use this metaphor from Jim. Think about the winter. It's cold. It's dark. It's sometimes ominous. It's, it's just snowstorms sometimes. We need to learn how to handle the winters of disappointment. We all get them. They always come. A business recession always comes right after expansion, doesn't it? Same thing here. Nighttime always comes after daytime, doesn't it? That won't change. It's not worth spending your time trying to get it to change. I wouldn't spend a lot of time worrying how that works if I were you. But the winters are coming. The winters serve a really great purpose. They're what make you harder, better, stronger, and they teach you the lessons that you need to learn so you can have a great spring and plant. So don't wish it were easier. Look at the winter of your life, no matter how long it seems, and ask what it's teaching you, because winter serves a great purpose. Jim Rohn says, don't wish it were easier, wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems, wish for more skills. So learn the lessons that winter teaches you because it's coming either way. So you can either complain about your crap that you're dealing with or learn from it because winter is coming. Hashtag Game of Thrones. And an amazing thing that happens if you choose to look at the winter of your life in a positive way, instead of being cooped up in a cabin and snowed in, if you follow this metaphor, you can bundle up and go skiing and have a good time. You can go snowboarding. You can enjoy it because you know that spring is almost here and you make it fun when for other people it's miserable. You can listen to the messages that the winter is teaching you because it serves its purpose and it's always coming. Does that make sense? That is the metaphor for winter. And after winter comes spring. And that doesn't change. Spring is always after winter, isn't it? It always happens that way. So what we need to do is learn how to take advantage of the spring. Think of spring as rebirth. Spring is new ideas. Spring is a new you. Maybe uh, investing in a course or changing your health or whatever ended your winter and put you in the springtime of your new life. Spring is a metaphor for when opportunity comes your way. And by the way, when you knock on the door of opportunity, don't be surprised if it's work that answers. You need to jump on these opportunities that spring provides you because in the past, you might have avoided them out of fear. Have you ever noticed that? Sometimes even though these opportunities show up, you avoid them because you want to avoid feeling pain. But now it's your responsibility to plant. That's when you plant your seeds, the spring. That's when new ideas germinate. That's when you do everything you can to take advantage of the spring to start a new idea or a new opportunity. But if you don't go after an opportunity in the spring, you'll be begging in the fall when you don't have your harvest, won't you? That's what's going to happen. And is that the way that you lived life before? If this is your spring, it's time to take advantage of it because you don't want to end up in the fall again trying to harvest things that don't exist, wondering why you're so stuck. It's time to plant those seeds right now. So what opportunities are in your life right now that you're either toning down or saying no to that you should be saying yes to? Is it a business idea? Is it a date? Is it investing in an online course? What are the opportunities that feel good in your gut but you've been afraid in the past of the consequences of what it might mean? It's time you jump on it. It's time to plant that seed because if you don't plant in the spring, you will not have a harvest in the fall. So what opportunity do you need to say yes to? It's time to plant that seed. And after spring comes summer. We need to learn how to nourish the crops all summer if you're following this metaphor. That's when the pests come. That's when the bugs swarm the fields. And that's when the sun is so damn hot and it tries to take your crops away, right? It tries to wither them away. All good will be attacked. Anytime, you ever notice, anytime you try to do something amazing in your life, resistance shows up, that's summer, right? It's exactly how, like, if, if we try to get uncomfortable, resistance shows up and things seem to go wrong when you try to make a change. Have you ever noticed that? The second you decide to go for something big, it's like life is trying to test you to see if your resolve is there. That's summer, that summer, you said yes to an opportunity that could change your life, but your spouse doesn't support it. That's the summer of your life. Your job is to try to protect your crops instead of uprooting them and giving up on them, thinking that it was pointless. All good will be attacked. So defend your crops, defend them against ego, defend them against other people's opinions, even the people closest to you. If you know what is right and you're staying true to your purpose, listen to your opinion only or the people that have what you want. Defend those crops against hardship. Defend them against excuses. 
Defend them against small minds that don't think like you because the pests and the heat of the summer, that lag time is necessary for you to get results. You need time for those plants to grow, that perseverance to grow, those, those pests and that heat, it's coming either way, whether you like it or not. That's just one of the seasons. The minute your crops start to grow is the minute they're going to start to be attacked and start to be eaten. So if you don't think that, it's naive. Defend your crops during the long, hot summer. And be committed to the harvest, not attached to the harvest like you need it, but committed to it. The summers are long. They are hot. Sometimes they're longer than we want. Sometimes you don't know when it's going to turn fall, but you do a good job protecting your crops in the summer and watering them in the heat of the sun. That's when your crops grow the most. And finally, after summer comes fall. We need to learn how to reap our harvest in the fall without complaint. What does that mean? It means take responsibility for your harvest. Whatever you are getting out of life, it is your responsibility. You are earning the amount of money that you must earn right now. You are getting the same size business as you must get right now. Remember, you were either the one who stayed cooped up all winter long and complained about your problems or the cold, or you accepted the cold, learned the lessons, and went out skiing, knowing that winter is just part of life. You were the one that planted seeds uh, your thought seeds in your mind in the spring. You were the one that said yes to that opportunity. You were the one that said no to that opportunity because of fear. You were the one that did that. You were the one that watered your crops all summer long and defended them instead of uprooting them and giving up on them when things got hot. Your harvest, meaning what you are getting out of life, is on you. It's your responsibility. That means wherever you are at right now is because of you and it's it's up to you if you want to change it. And that goes the other way too. Don't apologize for having a great harvest when some don't have a harvest at all. You did the work. You planted the seeds. You watered the soil. You protected your crops all summer. You harvested in the fall. When you have a great harvest, own it. You deserve it. Be proud of it because you created it. And then after you harvest, just understand some sort of winter is going to come again. Now, because you're smart and because you're intelligent and you've learned these lessons, you can prepare for that winter. You can go out to the grocery store and stash up water. You can get your snowsuit out and get ready to go skiing. But something in your life is going to change to bring on more challenge. In fact, solving one challenge opens up the door for more. It's just how life works. That's the cycle of life and how it's always going to be. So don't try to change it because it's not going to change. Take control of what you can control in the season that you're in. Plant your seeds. Get excited about the rain. Get excited about the storm and love the sunshine. Prosper where you are planted because where you're planted right now is a gift. All you need to do is ask yourself, what season of life am I in right now? And my hope for you is that after you, you leave this podcast, after you absorb the material and you start to understand it, maybe through ongoing education and appreciation academy, that maybe, just maybe, You'll enter into springtime where some new ideas start to come your way and lead you to a life that is amazing. So when that fall comes, when fall comes, you'll have a harvest that you're genuinely proud of. It's how you take advantage of the season you're in and go out there every single day of your life with a genuine smile on your face. So when your when the fall comes, you'll yield the best crop you've ever had. So your job isn't just to smile when it's harvest and if you have a good harvest, because if you don't smile when it's winter and if you don't smile when it's spring and if you don't smile when it's summer, guess what? You won't even have a harvest to smile about. So where are you? What season are you in right now? And can't that be okay? When you think about it that way, doesn't it make life so much easier? Of course it does. It makes life so much easier. So identify what season you're in and own it right now. Because once you accept where you are, all of a sudden you can start to change it. Whatever season you're in is a great thing because all seasons and all emotions serve you. So for a much deeper dive into this, I highly recommend Jim Rohn's The Art of Exceptional Living. It's so powerful and it's a helpful resource for life perspective. But thank you so much for tuning into the Path to Mindset Mastery today. Share this podcast. Give it a rating and review. If this life perspective can change one person's life, then we've done our job. So share this on your Instagram stories. Tell your team about this. Let's get this in the hands of more people so we can affect change at a greater level. My name is Brad Bizjack. Go out there today and every day and live your life. Life with a genuine smile on your face because you can do it whatever season you're in. I'll see you next week.